Hi, it's Jan from the mountain. This week, it's a trip to Brescia for a concert. The train journey there, we went on um, La Freccia Rossa. Here we are on it. We came back on Italo. So there were slightly different experiences on both, but they were both good. Now we came out of Florence, Santa Maria Novella, and this is the beautiful countryside going up to the north of Italy. It's very, I love it. It's not it's so flat. It's not at all like the mountain, but it's very, very much like the countryside at my mum's house where I grew up. So I was quite taken, taken by it all. A little bit different because you can see rows and rows of grapevines there we've just been past. The train journey was interesting because we have to, in order to go anywhere, we really need to get to Florence. So we drove to Pisa, we got the train from Pisa to Florence, and then we took this Freccia Rossa, which means red arrow, up to the north. I had to wait until we got to a station where lots of people got off to show you the inside of the carriage. We went business class and the seats are beautiful, a, a beigey brown, I suppose tan leather. There's plenty of room on the tables. If you want a computer, you can fold them up or down. There are lots of sockets and loads and loads of space. If you want to travel by the Freccia Rossa business class, look out for special offers because we were able to upgrade for something silly like five euros. We pulled into the station um, near Lake Garda and then we came out in the opposite direction. So I was going forward in and I came out backwards while we took the other line to go towards Brescia where our concert was to be held. I went with my younger daughter and we were meeting my elder daughter in Brescia for the concert. It was quite pretty here actually in the distance. You could see Lake Garda and I actually I think I put it on my list for places to go in the future. This was a particularly pretty station. It's just it looked so warm and uh, clean and I love the buildings and the stations are, are very different here in Italy. Here we had a better view of the lake although <laughs> you can't see much because it was very hazy. It was actually a lovely day and a very very pleasant journey with the Freccia Rossa. We'd only booked to stay one night and so it was very much there, concert and back again. Some of these lovely mountains in the distance, so they were reminiscent of my mountain home. I've actually never travelled to this part of Italy before so it was all a new experience which I really really enjoyed. At night time we went to the concert, we took the metro for about 15 or 20 minutes and we arrived at the concert venue. I've never seen anything like it before because it was like a complex and there are lots of different things going on. You could take dance classes, though, you could eat and in fact this is the concert hall but actually before I actually went in to the entrance you had to walk through a place where you could have a quick meal and you could even make a whole evening of it really if you wanted to. Here we are at the concert venue. Obviously I couldn't record any of the concert but I hope to give you a taste of the atmosphere. 
we, fa we thought we were going to have to get a taxi, which would have been very expensive. But we found out the metro was open late, so it was one mad dash to get back to our hotel. The next morning, we just walked around Brescia near to the hotel. We found somewhere we, where we could buy a, a little lunch and made our way to the station. We are just waiting to be able to board our train, but the, the cleaners were on, making sure it was lovely and clean for us. So we had to wait hmm, quite a while, about 15 minutes. But while we were there, this huge train came in. I've never seen a train quite as long as this one, ever. And I couldn't see, but my daughter said inside there were banks and banks of what looked like computers and computer machines, scanners and the like. So this train, we found out, or at least we think, is it goes up and down the line and it scans for information and faults on the line so that they can put it right and work on it in the future. But as you can see, the train was enormous and I actually cut a lot of it out of this video because I didn't want it to be too tedious for you. This is the Italo train. There is not a lot of difference between the uh, Freccia Rossa and the Italo. I think the staff on the Freccia Rossa were more attentive. I couldn't film too much of the Italo train because um, I didn't want to be intrusive and there's a lot of people on it. Finally arrived back home, back to my village. And this is my walk from our car park up through the village on the outskirts to my home. As you can see, it was an absolutely wonderful day. Always get that nice feeling when I'm coming home. There's a lot of uphill though. So here we go. It's always nice to get to this bit because it's flat. Look at the sun, absolutely glorious. It's a little branch of my village that goes down this little hill. And then it's up again. There's lots of little nooks and crannies in my village. Shall I go right? Or shall I go left? It's left. Let's go. We passed our little museum. Some artifacts on the wall there. Now another decision. Do we go down? No, it's always up. It's a very beautiful spring day today. Birds are singing. We have a medieval tower. This is a bell tower and it's medieval. Not many people can say that, can they? They've got an old medieval bell tower in their village. Nearly there. Just through this little narrow alleyway. And I've arrived. This is my road. I recently went to a little thrifting shop that I visited before in Pisa. I love these little vintage handbags, but I don't actually want a black bag and I've got nothing that I could use this with, but it was in beautiful condition. Very cute, very cute. 
two very similar if not the same so I had a little mooch around the other handbags in the thrift shop I always like ceramics as well glassware there wasn't really anything that caught my eye this time round here. This, I was very intrigued by this little case but I couldn't open it because I was one handed, I was filming with my other hand. But it turned out I realised it was a light meter in the old-fashioned days when you had to have a light meter of your photographer. Old-fashioned camera, which would probably be a 35mm film one. Books galore, mostly Italian. And at the moment I haven't really uh, got a place for them. Oh, here you can buy little bits to replace in your stovetop coffee maker or mocha as we call them here in Italy it's about a euro 150 but you can get them new in the local shops so and there was no savings to be made by getting those I love this little dog porcelain dog gorgeous there is something on this shelf that spoke to me I actually love the red glassware but it doesn't go with my decor or my plans at the moment when it's very expensive. I love this glass paperweight like a bird, but it was 25 euros, so I wasn't going to buy it. Jewelry, I'm always looking for that special piece, but nothing caught my eye. I did actually start to feel disappointed that I hadn't seen anything, but I actually left empty-handed would you believe so I'll have to go back again soon next time a visit to my absolute favorite thrift shop of the moment at Luca so well organized I think it's got everything except silk scarves never seen them there so if you like my video please give me the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to hear about any new videos and I'll see you next time.